day after my birthday, um, my children were home, I wasn't home, and we came back to the smell of smoke coming out of the home. They did what they could do um, from the back door um, to the front door. Everything had to be gutted out. Um, we had no house. <laughs> we had no house left. Um, it wasn't a happy moment. I know that much. It wasn't a happy moment. In our community, it is a lower socioeconomic community, and the money that these families have must automatically go to life's necessities. And unfortunately, we know that we could be helping these kids so much more if we had better funding in the areas, especially things like books, libraries, resources, because being able to read increases your chances of success, being interested and excited by reading makes it go even higher. So a student who enjoys reading has a higher chance of success in their life based on that enjoyment. It's like living in a smoking room. You get to a piece of paper, you got it right here in front of your face and reading it, that's aggravating. Glasses won't fix this. No. Just, just to clearly see something, that's what I'm looking forward to. Our community struggles with a food distribution problem there's a lot of people not getting a lot, but also a lot that do have a lot. Like not having clothes or food, like those, like you you really need those just to have any sense of security or like well-being in your life. We hosted a canned food drive at our school a few months ago, and we were able to raise over 250 cans through that. And then one of the volunteers said that that was the amount of canned goods that they go through in one week. And that was just crazy to me that they need all this help and we were at least able to offer a fraction of that for at least one week. Mr. Charles is the man, he's the bomb.com. Well, I, I seen what, uh, what Jasmine was going through uh, mentally and um, they were a good family. And I have a good wife, that's what made it work also. Because my wife was supportive to uh, what was happening with Jasmine. You know, I, I did what I could when I could. We all need neighbors. It's family. Here at Webster, we'd like to thank you so much for your donation to our reading program. Thanks to donations, I'm able to get books that are of high interest to the students. I have probably at least 20 to 30 students every morning that come in to check out books. Some come every day um, because they're reading every night. We do reading competitions and we have, you know, the goal is to meet their goal. And, but they can also double it. Well, I had last semester several students do eight times their goal. There's a woman named Ann. She helped me out a lot. I got an extra thousand dollars last year. Living United means we're united, we're all connected, and helping one person helps all of us. Because it's almost like the more you give, the more you receive. Especially if you're loaded, you have a lot of money. You keep supporting United Way. You show up every year. You help them out when you can. Mm -hmm.